Hey guys, welcome back. So we're going to be doing a um, initial setup, initial setup video here, and I'm going to show you a little bit of what goes on here to build it. But if you haven't watched the unboxing video, link to it to right here. I'm going to put a box right here under the Linksys logo. Go ahead and uh, click on that and go to the unboxing video, the WRT. Uh, Linksys and uh, yeah when you're done come back here and I'll show you how to set it up so yeah first thing you're gonna want to do is uh, install your antenna so we'll do that right now and we just screw them on until they come nice and snug and then give it a little bit of a turn lift up your antenna okay keep going around and installing your antenna All right, now that you got your antenna on, uh, what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna plug in your power supply, and that plugs into the back of the router uh, back there. And then once you got it plugged in, you're gonna wanna take the ethernet cable that you got, and plug it into any one of these ports back here, and then plug that into your PC. And once you get that going, you'll be able to log into the uh, the setup and initialization set uh, routine, and we'll go through that right now. Hey guys, so here we are. One other thing I did forget to mention is that you can actually click on uh, your Wi-Fi and actually use the Wi-Fi to do the initial setup. Uh, one thing you'll have to do is when you run through and set your actual um, Wi-Fi name and password you'll have to reconnect uh, but that's a small thing to do um, especially since you only have four wired ports so what I'm going to do here is uh, I'm going to select both of the have read and accepted terms and so software and I, I in gen generally help uh, I enjoy helping companies make their products better so I like to send back the uh, information as well. So I'll click next. Uh, now you, you want to make sure that your router is connected to the uh, modem to your uplink. This is important because it will not allow you to continue uh, beyond here uh, initially without having internet hooked up and uh, here it is. Now it's looking to uh, set up your, your uh, automatic updates for firmware I say yes and here's showing you um, the two network names personally I like to make them the same and this is where you would go ahead and select your change your your network to the name that uh, you choose for your network and your password um, these are just the defaults for my current system. And uh, yeah, one thing about making the names the same, it allows your devices then to choose if which bandwidth they want to use, uh, whatever's most most uh, available for them. Okay, so go ahead and click next. Go through those wireless settings updates. And again, I would I am going to change my username and password here after we're done going through. So I'm going to create an, um, a router password. So don't create one that says password. It's a very bad idea to have for a router admin have password as the password again I'm going to change this again here shortly and so that's all you have to do for the initial setup and uh, there you have your Wi-Fi and you have all your basic functionality pretty pretty simple so um, here it's asking you if you want to set up a uh, smart Wi-Fi so that would allow you to 
get an SVN or a VPN. Uh, looks like uh, manage multiple networks and 